Hi, my name is Jim Haber. I'm a professor of biology at Brandeis University, and I'm director of the Rosenstiel Basic Medical Sciences Research Center there. My lab has been interested for a long time in how cells are able to repair DNA damage, most notably broken chromosomes. We study this using the simple model organism budding yeast, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, but because of the very strong evolutionary conservation of these mechanisms, much of what we have learned is applicable in understanding what goes on in human cells as well. One of the primary motivations for the work that we've carried out is to understand the remarkable genome instability of human cancer cells. This is illustrated here in comparison to the normal spectral karyotype, the false color images of a uh, human chromosome, so there are 23 pairs of chromosomes in a normal human, and in comparison to that, in this cancer cell, what one can see is an astonishing number of chromosomal alterations. There are translocations and inversions and deletions, there are truncations, and uh, in fact, there are lots of other alterations which at this level of analysis you can't see, such as uh, individual mutations. And uh, one of the things that we would like to understand is why cells that have this kind of instability have emerged from the background of normal, uh, normal human cells. Some of these translocations turn out to be very important in terms of the origins of cancer themselves. Many of these alterations probably just come along for the ride and are not particularly important. Here's an example of one chromosome which is very important, a rearrangement called the Philadelphia chromosome, found because it was identified in Philadelphia, um, a translocation that joins a small part of chromosome 22 to uh, uh, the end of the chromosome 9. This translocation joins a normal C. able gene, which is a protein kinase, to the region that is controlled by the BCR gene. And this uh, fusion places the C. able gene under the control of the wrong promoter and enhancer sequences so that it is expressed at the wrong time and place relative to the normal able gene. And it is this misexpression of this uh, protein which is associated with the origin of these cancers. Another thing that you can't see when you look at these kinds of karyotypes is what is known as loss of heterozygosity. Um, the example I'd like to give is, is of the retinoblastoma tum tumor suppressor gene. When the mutations in the retinoblastoma gene were first found, it was thought that the retinoblastoma gene was a dominant mutation because people who inherited a single copy of this mutation were likely to end up with tumors of the eye, which is what retinoblastoma causes. Um, but in fact, it is a recessive mutation. And it is only manifest in those cells which have lost the heterozygosity that was implicit in the uh, original uh, parent chromosomes. And as I've illustrated here, um, the, what happens is that uh, there is a recombination event, which I'll specify a, a little bit more in a second, which has caused this chromosome to lose the dominant marker, which is shown here, the capital RB marker, and to become homozygous for the RB uh, tumor suppressor mutation. This happens by uh, what is called a mitotic crossing over event, a recombination event, in which there has been an exchange of arms of these chromosomes, as, as you see here. And then after this exchange has taken place, there is a hybrid chromosome, so part of it is black and part of it is blue. Um, and depending on how these chromatids separate after DNA replication and mitosis, um, you will end up with cases uh, which are illustrated here um, where the cells have become homozygous for this marker and indeed homozygous for markers all along the rest of this segment of the chromosome. And this is an example of the loss of heterozygosity. Loss of heterozygosity can also show up in other ways. For example, just by deleting a region of the wild-type chromosome so that the, the normal RB gene here has been lost, and now the only copy of RB that is being expressed uh, is the mutant copy. And I'll talk about mechanisms that also cause deletions of this sort uh, to expose this recessive uh, mutation. Now, what's clear about all of these uh, defects that I'm going to talk about is that normal cells have very accurate mechanisms to repair 
DNA damage. And it is really in the absence of the repair of those damage that we see the kind of uh, karyotypes that I illustrated with this tumor suppressor gene. 